Tardy. I like it. Time and relative dimension in. You know, because it's like you're tardy, you're not on time. Get it? That's kind of, that, that's, that's the whole thing. You know, like, oh, you're tardy today. Well, hello, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of my Chrono Trigger Blind Let's Play. I am Mr. Miles. Guys, this is episode 10. Can you believe it? Episode 10, this is our Tinfinity. Right? No, Tinniversary? Tinfinity? Where did I get that? That might have been from an episode of New Girl. But it's like the 10th anniversary would be like tin, right? I think that's the five is wood, ten is tin. Makes sense. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, uh, my little characters are jumping up and down right now. How cute. Uh, let's see, what did we do in the last episode? Well, uh, we finished off the 65 million years ago. We finished, we, we killed Azazel, Azala, Azala. Um, I'll never get that name right. But in doing so, the red star fell out of that sky which we were only privy to in that moment, that there was a red star floating around in the sky, which we then found out that that's Lavos. So we kind of got a little bit of an origin story of Lavos, but where did Lavos come from? That's what I want to know still. Anyway, they kind of dropped this off in 12,000 BC. So some years later in this magical city, which was like so, so cool. So if you haven't watched the last episode, please go back and do so. And I had a few theories rolling around I think I asked in the comments if I should divulge those. So we might just do it right here. Right here and now. If you don't want spoilers. <laughs> if you don't want spoilers. Um, we met a family of like the like the royal family of this magical city. And they have a son who I am pretty sure is Magus. So it's I think it was Janice was the name. I'm pretty sure. Janus is Magus, just really, really old, um, and is also in the same time period, 12,000 BC, with us, um, because it was like a whole other thing. Anyway, so, but he's there as like a prophet, so he knows the future, and I think something happens to the magic city, and he's trying to prevent it from happening. Um, so it's kind of like he's the bad guy, but also there's like a reason behind this motive outside of just like this mass destruction for the whole world um so that's my guess is this prophet is magus and uh he's trying to do something to save the magic kingdom anyway uh so we went back into our time and uh sorry for all the rambling we're like three minutes in this episode and i'm rambling around we went back in our time we've got we we grabbed some stuff from luca i think we're supposed to go find Melchior in 12,000 BC. That was the other thing. Like, there's like these guardian people. Mm. Gurus is actually the word that they used. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. So, I think if we jump in this little... Can we actually jump in here? I don't know if we can. I want to go to Medina Village because I want to see if we can talk to Melchior before and, and see if, like, hey, we know about you from the from the past. Outside of that, um, we were kind of, we were kind of shunned. <laughs> uh, well, we were held captive by the queen, who's like not necessarily acting like the queen, supposedly. Which one was Medina? No. Um, which one was Medina? Yes. Um, and then rescued by the kids, Janice and his sister. And I think we're supposed to go now to... I think we're supposed to go to the Protodome and um, utilize Masamune to unlock some doors, which I think breaks some sort of seal. I think. All right, let's see if he has to say anything new. A sword can only be used as a tool for ending lives or as one for saving them. It all depends on the one who wields it. Be sure you wield yours for the proper reason. Would you like to buy something? Um, so he doesn't say anything new. Nothing new. Which is fine. It's all good. And I think we've got enough things for right now. So! So, so, so. I think we can leave. Oh, why did I go down the stairs? 
I think we can leave now. Medina Square. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta go back. I always forget, like, what do we where do we wanna go? We wanna go back into the magic cupboard. The magic cupboard. Cool. What level are we? 27, 27, 26. Let's give this one a try. Let's give this a try and see if we can... Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, no, so no casting spells right out. But if you have any consolation, you seem to have plenty... What? Now let's practice. Let's, let's practice. Oh, she can't have magic. Ouchies. She has protect now. Drill kick and all any of that stuff. I can just cleave him. I can cleave him to death. Miss! Why'd he turn away? I wasn't reading. Why do we keep missing? I'm going to... I thought we could... Oops. Let's see what Raze does. Oh, that's neat. A little spotlight. Not enough health you can you come back with, though. He's gonna be dead. And she's gonna be dead. Ouch. I felt like we lasted a lot longer in this one, though. I feel like we maybe... We maybe could have done this if I had a different party. <laughs> if I had a different party. Um, so he shoots fire. I like the protect thing, though. That's, that's, that's the neat thing. Like, that's a neat thing, you know? But, like, if we got in Ayla, maybe, instead of Luca... And that way we have some AoE heals. Oh, I should... Can I heal myself up first? Cool, cool, cool. Thunder Chomp. Miss? Oh, that's not good. Should we do a drop kick? Why does this always miss? Are you just supposed to use spells? Ouch. Wow, I really killed him. All right, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna end it. That really, that really killed him. Yeah, so I think, I think... 
We want to go to the the past and open up some that door or whatever. And I think there's a guru there as well. Not the past. Is it the future? Is it the future? Uh, who do I want in my party? I kind of want to level up some people. Anyway, um, party. Like maybe we should have Luca in for a bit. All right, and I think it's this one. Go to Proto Dome. Zipreto Dome. All right, guys, let's do this. How do we navigate these places again? <laughs> How do we navigate? In and out. Too bad we don't have the, our little friends that can, uh... Was it Derelict Factory? What was it, Derelict No, this is where... Shoot, this is where our, uh, our buddy got absolutely demolished and I got real sad about it but I don't know whether or not oh, I missed you can't get that out of the way okay we didn't really play around in here though that's that's another thing yeah we really didn't uh explore the space you know a bandit's bow Yeah, we missed a lot in here. Because there's another one up above. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, no. That's how we got down. Oh, there's something here. A mid ether! Oh, that's, uh, that's cool. That's so cool. How come we can't press these buttons, though? Or this button? Maybe we need our friend. Does that- does that matter? Uh, let's get rid of the frog and put in him. Just see. Can you press buttons, bud? Can you press the buttons? Let's keep him in anyway, just to be on the safe side. I want to get up to there, though. Here. Oh, something just grabbed us. Uh oh. I don't know why I just used that one. I like this protect though. That's really cool. Alright, oh, that pushes us out over here. Fantastic. Oh, it's a little gauntlet. It's a little gauntlet! I hope you guys don't mind. We're kind of like doing a little bit of a detour. It's just these guys are so low level, it's like not gonna matter. It's like not gonna matter. You can't jump off this. It's just be just you just keep going. Come on, do the napalm. We'll do the napalms. Do do. All right, can we get can we get out of this? Can we get out? My goodness, man.
All right, now we can grab this one. Great. Obtain a mid potion. Tats on a door. This guy looks like he'll grab us. Can't continue there. But we can go through this door. A shelter. And an ether. Some of these things are going to be kind of old. To activate the crane, wait for the tone and white flash. And then press any two. And be one after another. in the wrong button, obviously. Alright, so he moves that out of the way. Okay. Can we do it again? What the hell? Oh, yeah, it's not doing anything. She wasn't doing anything. All right, cool. That's done. So we can go back over here and we can go down and then we can jump on this thing. No, we can't. What does this do? Oh, okay. Thunderblade. Ooh. I, I'm, I'm gonna say none of these none of these items are probably gonna be that great. Yeah, I've got two Thunderblades already, so. But you know, cool to see it. Cool to see it. Do 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 do. And then I gotta figure out how to get down there. Which I thought was like this, the whole purpose of this. But we can't move down. Through this door. A mid ether. It's empty. Oh, 400 Gs. Nice. Crane control codes pattern BX pattern. Oh, okay. Why, why? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Knew that was going to happen. So we did B. I think that was BX. So the next one would be YY. But because I'm playing on playing on Steam and I'm playing with a PS PS5 controller, uh, we are not using the same controller layout. Where's the other crane operator though? That's that's the other thing, you know, that we gotta figure out. Do, 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 do. These guys are are like slug. They're like sluggies, slug dogs. I don't know. Slug? No, they are not slugs. They are kind of like a a beetle. Kind of like a beetle. I'm not even sure why we're here. <laughs> I just like I'm doing side quests. Where are you taking me, bro? No, I'm not doing that again. Can't escape. Ugh, no, I don't want to be here.
I think I made a mistake. Get me out. Get me out. Oh no, this is bad. I gotta figure out how to shut that crane off. I don't know if it's from the same I don't know if it's the same place though that we did before. Gotta get out of here. This is the this is the whole episode now. The whole episode is just me getting stuck in this repeating hell. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Slowly leveling them up. All right. Oh, it it dropped me off there anyway. Oh, we have to do this again. I don't know, man. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Ultra high security door lock system code. No, I gotta write this down. Oh no. I got my add a pad, no pad, and a and a pen. Security code, door lock system, door code. X A B Y. Decoding. Am I supposed to do that right here? A second. Hold on a second. Dun, 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 dun. Forget what's what. That's a thing. Okay. So confirm is B. So it'll be. I gotta write down this down. So it'll be X. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's gonna be, it's gonna be circle. And then it's going to be, what's, Y is Y. I think it's square. Square X and uh, that X is not Y. Triangle. Nope. Thank you. I don't know if we do that here, though. Decoding. So... Nope. That's not done here. Um... High security door. Where's the door? Didn't he take that out already? <laughs> like what the what what gives here? Where is that little nook that we went into? I think we already did that. Which told me about the other thing. Man, what a mess. I did not mean to, like, start all of this. I thought we went in here. We shouldn't put me in that other plate. Like, how did I get into that thing? The little controller room. I 
thought I was here. There's like no door in here though. Oh, it's over on the other side. Duh. This thing. All right, that does the other one. That was just YY. Or in this case, triangle, triangle. Cool, all right. Nice little puzzle system going on here. I like it. Although, I don't know. Maybe not right now. <laughs> Maybe not for this moment. All right, and then that means what exactly? <laughs> no, we can't do that because that'll just put me back on that track, which I don't want to be on. There's no way out of here. This way. Do, 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 this one, right? Don't we go down here and then over and over? And then now we can get out. Oh my goodness, thank you. Oh boy. Where's the super, super secret door though? That's what I wanna know. There's still a thing down there I want I have to grab. But there's no way so far to get down there. I don't think. We tried this. Yeah, because then he came and got me. And it put me on that whole system. So that must be a different, a different door. Like a different system altogether. Which way do we come? I guess we're seeing this out. That's a save, because there was a boss here. through there. Nope. No! That's okay. Oh yeah, he, she doesn't... He doesn't have any... Just do a laser spin. When all else fails, do a laser spin. A chemical reaction. I should probably give Miles some, uh, some ether. I love, I love the little characteristics. She does her little, when you give her a command, it's so cool. So cool. So I think we have to use... We have to use magic on these things. All right. All right, don't do, don't do that thing again. Uh, we'll go this way. Uh, let's go down? This is new. I don't remember doing this. Those are closed doors. Where does this take us? Right back. So we'll go up, I guess. And that just brings us right back here. Okay. Up. All 
All right. Blow this thing up. All right, let's get out of here. Like, for real this time. For real. Let's get out. Inventory. Uh, I'm going to change my party around a little bit. Get rid of Robo and put... Back in there. All right, and then... We want to get to... It wasn't this place, right? This is, I mean, this is where we came from. No, it wasn't the Proto Dome. I'm like, I just want to make sure. I'm trying to remember, like, where... We're supposed to go, but it might be that other place down below there. And I think the fastest way for us to get through is this. Can you, uh... Thank you. I think even if we lose... I was too I was too soon. I used the NOS too fast. That's the first time we lost. That's fine. Wait, what? I thought that brought us out of here. Do I have to win in order to get past? This is annoying. I don't like that. I don't like that. I rather just uh I rather win. <laughs> just like let me win. I was trying to like use the whole boost thing all at once, you know? I lost again. I'll have to cut this out. <laughs> I think I think I just <laughs> I just glitched my game out. <laughs> Alright. Yay. What a what a funny day so far. It's kind of a good thing that I do like over an hour worth of uh worth of video. <laughs> I think we go here. Right? Abandoned sewers? No. No, no, we don't, we don't go there. Right? It's under this. Aristome, I think. I think. Oops. Forgot that combination. Oh, I did. Why is that one shi shiny, though?
That takes us to the dead the dead dude. We'll just kill it. We'll just kill it. That was just, that's some overkill. That's some overkill. Alright. Oh, we've been seeing these little buggy things, slug bugs, beetle things for a while now. Guys, I forgot where we're supposed to go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I forgot where we're supposed to go. It's been so long. That's gonna be uh, too much. Up here, then over here, and through this door. We have the cool sounding dudes. Whoa. Oh yes, okay, okay, okay. What was this again? Oh, I just showed us showed us where to go. And it begins to glow. Yes. Golden earring. Elixir. Acuity ring. And a luminous robe. Anything else in here, you think? What's this on the floor? Oh, a strength capsule. Cool. Which is like, I keep seeing that thing glowing elsewhere, too. Uh, who do we want to give the strength to? Strength 9, 46. Maybe we'll hang on to it and give it to, uh... Should give it to Miles. Actually. All right, um, cool. Well, there's one door. What does this do again? Oh, that just opened that up. Okay. Where's our friend though? You know, our guru friend? What place was that in? <laughs> Because that is where I need to go. That is where we need to go. I feel like we've been lost most of this episode so far. Like, why is this glowy though like do i have to do a different combination to get it you think nope no it would be the same one i just don't maybe it just indication that it leads you somewhere Alright, 
Let's get it. I think we go this way. That's that dude again. I couldn't remember if there was something in this room with him. No. There wasn't. And it's just been some time since we've been here, you know? Like, very early days. Otherwise known as, like, February. <laughs> Oh, wait, if you go down and over here, no. Pretty sure we checked all this, but you never know. All right, so we can get out of here now. I just don't remember. Still just as hungry as before. <laughs> was it the sewer? There was, I don't remember it. I just, yeah, sorry. I just, uh, it's just driving me nuts. Maybe I should have, uh, rewatched that episode to figure out where I'm supposed to go. That's originally where we came in, isn't it? It's not that. I don't think. There might be a... There might be a chest in there. But, like, I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. Site 16. We'll just go check out Site 16 real quick. Like... Do 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 And then we will lightening the crap out of them. I'm also I'm also out of coffee. I'll have to get some more of that. We did some exploring though. I'm always a fan of exploring. Just so far, this episode feels like, like, you know, in, like, a TV show or something like that where something kind of crazy happens before and there's a lot of mystery and intrigue. And then, like, the next episode kind of feels like a filler episode where you kind of backtrack and follow some side characters. This feels like that. <laughs> this feels 100% like that. Get me out of here. Can we escape? You gotta hold it down and release, I think, is what, what you need to do. For some reason, I keep thinking you have to, uh... What the hell are these things again? The little rocky things? Get out of here. What an absolute disaster. Dudes. Stole a potion. That mother effer. I don't really care so much about a potion. I want... I just want to get out. 
I feel I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling trapped. And I don't like it. Just run. We might have to. How does this not take us out? There we go. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. Banger Dome, that's right. Okay, thank you. Obtain a Luring Top. High Ether. And a Workman's Wallet. Hmm, we should take a look at those items. We don't want to take that yet. Random. Another door. So many of them. High ether. Golden stud. Hey, can you, uh... There we go. And a magic capsule. Cool. We can give that over to Luca. Yeah. All right. Still don't know where I'm supposed to be. But the good news is. The only thing I can think of is we jump through the portal here and then jump back in, which would take me back to where I was on the other side over here. Because clearly I'm missing something super freaking easy. I just don't remember where the hell he is. Wasn't there like a whole mountain too? Or was just like, no, you can't do that yet. Right time, right people type thing. Where the hell was that? They weren't at the bottom of the derelict factory. I'm just, I'm really racking my brain here. You guys will have to let me know in the comments um, if you experience the same situations, like just kind of wandering around for a bit, trying to figure out where you're supposed to go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> it wasn't a, like by not going through that, right? It wasn't elsewhere for me to do. You know, we don't want to go through the site. I don't believe. I gotta say, it's probably the abandoned sewers. I mean, it's the only place we haven't really gone gone through. So we'll do that, but at least we've like opened up all the doors and such for the abandoned sewers. Just don't touch anything. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Do, do, do. Yes. Thank you. Keeper's Dome. Fantastic. All right. And we learn how to... We learn how to tickle him, too. Strange construct. The final instruction sequence the wise one programmed into was for this burial. Now I can join him in his eternal rest. But first... Hmm. I am certain there was one more task I was ordered to complete. Something about the seats... Memory error. I forget. Oh no, something's not right here. Something about seats. Maybe... Maybe it was seals. Pendant begins to glow. Mm -hmm. You who have opened the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason, informally of the kingdom of Zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Knew it. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. Lavos's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken his now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne or nest as it well <laughs> as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions, whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavored to continue my study in observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in an in and of itself, in an age such as this, an endeavor I fear may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold of the reins of time. And let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. Holy crap. Guys. Alright, so he... Balthazar created the time machine, which I think they I think they alluded to in the Magic Kingdom. I wonder, then who the hell is at the end of time? That old dude. You have little chance of success, but even the little chance is still a chance. You, who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you. My last and greatest work. The Wings of Time. Dope. <laughs> Dope. Oh my god, is, is this a freaking spaceship? Oh my god. This must be the Bel Balthazar's invention. This must be it. The wings of time. It's a it's a spaceship travel it's a TARDIS, guys. 
It looks so cool. Oh my goodness. So cool indeed. How do we get in it? How the, how the flip do we get in it? Do I need to have... What's his face in our party? I'm... I'm... What? What the hell? Strange construct. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Belthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain, namely, how to transcend time. Press A to display the time gauge, then select the era you wish to visit. Oh, I like this. Which one's A? That's square. Um, Belthazar. Ah, yes. I should actually put this up on my monitor that way. I know. That's cool. Before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Epoch. Yeah, I like that. Epoch's cool. Let's change it. To TARDIS! Oh, you can't do it. But you can do TARDY. TARDS. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Oh, Miles. Tardy. I like it. Time and relative dimension in. Oh, I hate when it just happens. I'm pressing all the buttons, man. There we go. Tardy. Is that correct? I like having the, the lowercase die. You know, because it's like you're tardy. You're not on time. Get it? That's kind of that, that's, that's the whole thing. You know, like, oh, you're tardy today. Well, then hop aboard. I don't know what to do with this voice because it's like not him. It's a creature instead. All right, so we talked to... I love it. We totally left him outside though. Take off. Strange contract mumble mumble. Oh, this is... This is cool. This is cool. Let's go to the end of time. Jedi knows how to fly ships out of nowhere. I love it. I wish that, I hope that plays like every single time. We're all right, aren't we? Even in my time, we did not have vehicles capable of time travel. The Tardy is capable of this. I like the lowercase i. <laughs> Happy accident. What? I'm assuming we're... Yeah, here we go. Oh, cool. Hey! Interesting. So he actually completed his wings of time. And at the cost of his own life, no less. Why not put those wings to good use and pay a visit to an ancient magic kingdom? Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on Time's Road. So he must be the other guru. Right, how many gurus were there? I forget. Ass forget. Do, 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 do. Cool. All right, so if we come down here now, for the tardy, yes. Take off. All right, so future. All right, that's the cataclysm. 
present AD, Middle Ages. We want to go to antiquity. I'm so excited. Now that we have a spacecraft time travel thingy. Okay. What was the small cave? Is that where we came from? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. That's right. So we were unable to get back in because she, they locked down the portals. But now we have the time travel. Now we have tar uh, Tardy. The way is sealed. Interesting. Okay. We'll need to figure this out then. We need to figure out this puzzy. Anything in these caves? Or are they not caves? Not caves? Terra Cave. Oh, that's right, that little chain thing above. Let's go to Terra Cave. And then through here. Oh, I think, didn't I try to go through that before? And I was like, wait, wait a minute. Like, there's nothing over here. This is El Gedi, the village of the Earthbound. The Earthbound, I like that. We Earthbound ones were banished from zeal because we are possessed of no magic talents. Let's go down. Oh, it just keeps going down. Oh, kid! The mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't pry around, dear. <laughs> Would you like to rest here for a night? Yes. I like how they don't ask you for money because they really have no need of it. You know? In times past, the Enlightened Ones, and we, Earthbound Ones, lived as one. Earthbound. Cool. I'll go down here. This tunnel connects to a mud beast den, and beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The Guru of Life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, and so he had he is banished to the Mountain of Woe. Who was the... Was that Melchior? That's who we're going after, right? Do we want to go to the Mud Beast yet, though? I feel like we want to talk to more people here, because it seems like that is a plot... Pusher, when the Wadi Skawa come and ply with us again? <laughs> the three gurus and Lady Skala are near the only ones who will do not who do not treat us as inferior. The kids are cute. The kids are so cute. Alright, and then Oh no no. There you go. The Queen has installed the Mammon Machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos's energy. But is there not peril in such a thing? The Guru of Life said as much, but it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there's little we can do. The Guru of Life said the young Lord Janus possessed power within him, exceeding even that of Lady Scala. But then the Queen lost her mind. And the young lord grew to hate the power and all the suffering it causes Lady Skull. Now she hides it, denies it, and shuts it from her thoughts. Interesting. My only thing is, okay, so we've learned that Lavos draws his power from the earth. And the more power he has... I'm sorry. So my guess is, the more power he has, drawing it from the earth... Um, in 1999 destroys 
the planet or whatever. I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to connect... Hang on to this thing that Magus isn't super evil. And the fact that he's maybe using... He's using this mammon machine to weaken Lavos. And some goods? Sure. What do we got here? Ooh. That's cool. That's a lot of monies. Comet bow, mega blaster. These are all really expensive. All really expensive. So we'll hang on to those for a bit. But I do have actually some new some new things that we can take a look at. Inventories. Not inventory, sorry. We want equipment. Duh. Miles, what do we got? Stone helm. No. Defense. What was the Triceratops? Triceratopper? Dark mail. I like the Rage Band, to be honest, so I'm not going to change that out. Um, no, we'll leave her with that, but I don't think she got anything new there. And then Frog... We, you got to keep Masamune. I don't know how you change that out at all. We could increase that, but, you know... Hit... Halves fire damage seems pretty good, you know? Boost critical strike rate of Masamune. I feel like, yeah, you can't change that out either. I feel like his stuff is kind of locked in for now. Golden Helm. We could probably give him, yeah, Stone Helm, which is kind of funny to me. Although gold is kind of a soft metal, so. But typically, you know, stone, then gold. But you know, what are you going to do? But we did get some, like this ring, accuracy. Oh, oh. Marl, there was a new bow that we picked up. I think it was the bandit's bow, wasn't it? But luminous robe, magic defense. That's pretty big, huh? What does mist robe do? Just a defense. He gets some more... Uh, reduces MP consumption by 75%. Oh. The golden stud would be good for... For me. I do like the counter stud, but let's do... Uh, the counter thing, but we'll go with that for now. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace, and none were ever seen again. Ooh. All right, I think that's everything, right? Here? Yeah, that'll kick me out. I don't see anything else. So we'll go down and do the beast. Let's go ahead and save again. over here. A strength capsule. Nice. Inventory. Let's give that. I mean, we're pretty high already. Let's give that over to, to Frog. Cool looking beasts. I almost feel like Protect would be good to get on during, uh, during battles, you know? X-Strike! Oh, it's attacks increased. Uh-oh.
figure out what these guys do. Oh, okay. So th this that makes sense. So that, I would say like it's kind of like an enrage. The more you attack, or the more damage they take, the the mud beasts will uh. Let's go ahead and heal everyone. I like that I don't have to like use up two people for that. Fire whirl. Attacks increased. Doing well, doing well. Maybe get a heal out again. Don't need it. Don't need it. Frog's level increase. Sweet. What's over here? Anything? Uh oh. Looks like we've got like a fire mud beast and a oh a fiend. You're not getting through here. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens if I napalm. Six thirty. I was gonna say I'm just gonna leave him because he'll wake up. So no point in using up a. The red one, I'm, I feel like, is fire. I mean, this is, these are, like, cues, you know? Not to mention that the fire... Like, Napalm, she took so much more damage. Yeah, see? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, that thing does take... damage. Ooh, an X, whatever it's called. Ouch. Oh, we might want to heal up. Fire sword. I'm like maybe a cleave on this freaking thing. Oh, I just saw something double damage or something. Yeah, that that doesn't do anything. Can we do a hypno wave and see what that does? Oh, perfect. not healing us all that much.
I'm trying to like maybe single the set this out and then go from there. I feel like you don't kill the the alien looking dude, the fiend. I need to like he's just like just messing me up. You know? Just like absolutely messing me up. So much health. So much health. All right, um, what's his what's his deal? I think I just like go after him. 93. I mean, how much health does he have? You know? Combo. Like, what if we just hit him with a. awake. The bulls just have so much health, you know? I don't... So much health. I really should be using protect too, but I'm trying to figure out like what the the scheme here is for these bulls. Just use frog as a healer every single turn. And then just try to pump in damage to the stupid blue bull until it's dead. I don't want flamethrower. All right, that one's dead. I should have healed. Whoops. Um. What I could do. Item. Please use. What does Lapis do? We don't need to use that yet. Combo. Heal.
What does Wind Slash do? I hope it doesn't heal. A 90? Okay, not bad. She can't do anything, so I'm gonna just go through and protect everybody. Combo. We'll just drill down. On everyone? Let's just get a heal out. I don't know, I, I, I guess I like this strategy. I completely forgot about Hypnotize, honestly. And it wasn't until like, oh, you like, you see it work. I'm like, oh, okay. Sword. We don't have anything with... You just have to attack, I guess. Which isn't, like, the greatest thing ever. Uh, I do need to wake up him. So we can get heals out. Kind of like useless here. Is he asleep again? Oh my god. So don't attack him, I guess, because he'll just continuously heal. Which is not what we want. What does lightning do just to him? I'm getting like really kind of sick of this stupid... Like, dude just keeps putting him to sleep. Need him up. Ether to him. That way I don't have to waste his turn. And we'll then use the water. Nice. What does this do now? Let's 
609? He's just going to heal after every single turn. Enough with putting me to sleep, dude. It's so annoying. He dipped. Nice. Ooh, that was tough, man. <laughs> that was a toughie. That was a toughie, but I loved it. That was really cool. Ooh, interesting. Oh, this is a this is a thing. Disables tech in item commands. Okay, that's not good. Is going to work though. Need a mid ether. Luca's level increase. Frog learned aerial strike. Learned red needle dual tech. Learned lightning rod dual tech. Wow, okay. We're doing well now. We're doing well now. Red needle. Okay, so they, now they have a, a thing together. I like the fact that, like, we can, like, do so much <laughs> in this game. Like, I, I spent the first, like, almost hour of this game, like, wandering around doing stuff. Um, and then, like, then you can, like, start picking up on the, the story again. I like it. Stone M. We're getting a lot of TP, though. Ooh, a lot. A lot now. Where do we... Can I skip that, dude? Those things are... are... tough. Ooh, a... A platinum helm! Ooh, equipment! Naturally, I want to give it to our boy here. Defense. Alright, alright. That doesn't go anywhere. Anything over- ooh, what's this? Nothing. Nothing over there. Can we go this way? This will take us up. I do- I do, like, very much enjoy all of the, uh, the environments, though, in this game. Try whatever a lightning rod is. They're not in a line. Oh, that's that. Uh, ooh, I like that. That, yeah. That's that's solid. That's a cool. That's a cool move. I dig that. All right, let me go up here. to go? Where to go? Nothing over here.
Oh, shoot. I hope she's able to get something out. Yikes. I gotta give her some, some health. Like, right now. Give her a couple mid potions. Nothing there. Is that a is that a, is a save? It is a save. Cool. The Guru of Woe. I mean, we're coming up to a, another battle. I like the lightning moves because it hits everybody, no matter where they are on the map. But I do need to have. I should go back actually and grab a shelter. What does Red Needle do? Oh, nice. Oh my god, so strong. It's so strong. I should have used a shelter that save, which is what I'm going to do next. Frog's level increased. Now we're just zooming. Zoom, zoom, zooming. Right here. Inventory. Shelter. Shelties. Uh, what's my party looking like, like, right now? Look at all these chests. Open them up. A platinum vest? A shield sphere? I think that's, like, another one of those items that we haven't used before. Just increases our defense. Do that for now. And I'll go this way. No! Wow, look at all these little little demon dudes. I need like another AoE capability for For my friends here. Nice. Nice. A barrier sphere. A chain that leads to nowhere. around for some more stuff doesn't look like it it's a wide open space this feels like it could be a boss no it's not but it is going to do that <laughs> it is going to do that it is nice to not run out of MP so fast with miles although I do it did really like the 50% thing you know that was, that was cool. And that should kill him. I like his just plain attack animations too. Lucas level increased. Alright, and then we come over here, I think. Yep. Tech. Lightning's just doing doing its thing. 
They're kind of close together. Maybe I can get off a napalm. Maybe. Maybe we can do a napalm. I am going to heal first, though. And then we'll do a napalm. Just for strategery moves. My heal doesn't do that much, though. Alright, and then... So many encounters. Birds go away, and then these guys drop down. I'll do another heal. And I'll do another lightning attack. Oh, they're still up. They're still up. Do 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 Stone Imp. Dead. 36. Luca learned fire level 2. Nice. That's gonna slap. That's my guess. Oh my god, so many. So many encounters. Oh, I'm gonna just wipe the floor with them with one lightning. They seem to die pretty quickly. With that. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So much TP. So much! Another barrier sphere. What are those dudes? I'm just gonna stare clear. There's like no point <laughs> in getting into, into anything with them. Lapis. We haven't used one of those yet. There's two different ways to go here. Another lightning for miles. Fan. Fantastic. It is fun, like, exploring. Miles' level increased again? Yikes. Alright, let's, uh... Seems like a great spot to be leveling, you know? Tex, like, doing well there. She's got Megaton Bomb, which I think would be great for, you know. And then he also learns Water, too. So let's I like swap her out. Party. Where are we at with her, Tex? Ice too. And Ayla's Tex Charm Boulder Toss. Do we have a spin kick or a beam? Start kiss. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, actually, I feel like we just do what we've been doing. It's been working. It's been working. Oh, another one. Another barrier sphere. Yikes. I feel like we need to use these. Fire 2, yes. Mm. 
Nice. This confused drop off, though. That was quite a bit of XP. That was quite a bit. Bring it around town. I gotta get a heal off, though. They're blocking something, I wanna see. Yeah, it does get rid of... Do a heal. Do a uh, uh, fire. That fire is so good. I love, love, like, just massive damage abilities. No more confuse. No more confuse. And Frog learned Water 2. Very cool. Learn, learn Delta Storm Triple Tech. Oh my god. And the Shield Sphere. What is going on with all of these spheres? All these spheres. I feel like we're going to need to use them, you know? Water 2. Fire. They're going to die, like, right now, but... Awesome. Well, guys, I think this is where we're going to end it. We're at a, a save. We might have something coming up next. So, classic me fashion. I love to end on a possible cliffhanger here. At the Guru of Woe. Looks like we've got another battle going on. Or about to have another battle. But yeah, uh, this definitely felt like a... I, wouldn't say, I, I don't want to say a filler episode because that makes it sound really mean. It's not a filler episode. It's just a little bit more of an exploring, backtracking type episode, as well as pushing the plot just a teensy bit further, getting lost in time and space, exploring, and finding finding uh, new things. We unlocked a bunch of those those doors, which is which is always fun, which is always always fun. But yeah, I think it's I think that's fine. It's a perfectly acceptable episode. I think I just wanted more out of my episode 10 of this series but that's okay you know like and i say when i say more i mean like in more of like uh you know touching story and stuff like that although we did get we did get some some backstory with balthazar which i did like i did like that a lot maybe i'm just being too harsh on the episode itself but anywho guys if you liked it hit that thumbs up button the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever i post a new video stop by premiere sundays at 12 p.m edt right here on my YouTube channel. But until next time, guys, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I'll see you guys in episode 11. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.